touching my hands and my, the drawings and now some of those drawings i made it was just to make a demo to some students this week because they were falling in love with their sketch uh, and and they were developing only that sketch and when i watched uh, all their uh, other uh, designs for that project i i saw that they basically were working only on one idea so i said no this is not right you must explore your creativity and to explore your creativity you have to do brainstorming you have to do ideation sketching so here i have uh, an example for example this one it's a first idea then i trace that idea and i get this one which is completely different and that's the big surprise you know that uh, sometimes you you get and we get i also get what's important here this exercise is to demonstrate to show you that you cannot just fall in love with one idea uh, for example this one which is not bad it's a nice uh, how can i say nice uh, three-dimensional section it's very modern like uh, today's uh, electric suv and stuff like that but then uh, look how big a change we get if we just trace it with a completely different style so that's the thing you know that's the thing that proves you that you have to you know that you have to change that you have to get this approach which is the ideation sketching okay so i give you another example here okay here is my friend that was doing a sort of uh, wavy design and i was trying to get the same idea and, and shifting you know shifting uh proportions to show how different with the same design approach how different could be my sketch from his and then i made few others to show how you can what what is the results you get when you take the cabin you put it forward and you get a big long back with probably all the battery and the motor the engine in the back so this is another example and then here i was talking about uh, about the uh, mobile you know devices for ev small mobiles and and you can see you know those two are similar and then those two can become this one and, and you see different different really different type of uh, designs and then once again you take you keep on exploring you get something something different so this is the advantage of uh, ideation sketching and ideation sketching is something i really encourage you to do because uh, with ideation sketching you will learn you really learn how to discover the creativity that you have the the creative uh, the process complete the creative process but most of all give yourself a great opportunity to find several ideas before you decide which is the right idea so that's the point a lot of times we just uh you know a lot of times we just uh, fall in love with the first sketch thank you raja and uh, and i know that uh some other times is exactly that sketch which is the right one i know because this happens but how can we know that that sketch is really the right one well we know because we go through the design process of ideation sketching because we we work we, we are stubborn to find an alternative and we learn you know sketch by sketch that we have a new detail a new proportion uh, different things and then uh, it becomes very exciting because you starting away you end up in a different completely different way and in between you get all sorts of ideas so when this happens then you have a panel of choices and then you can really choose one and say okay my ideation sketching is finished it's over i choose this one and i really develop this idea or maybe you pick up two so that you have an alternative and you develop two ideas that's the best way believe me it's the best way 
to get your ideas down so a lot of people when they show me also their uh, portfolios and they show me the sketches of of their projects for each project i mean they all look the same it looks like they did not have any ideation sketching that they did not explore before they selected that idea i, mean, I might be wrong but if i were you in your portfolios on your projects you know i would start with a, a lot of sketching and uh, and show them all the different sketches the design approach you had because that's your best way ciao tibasish welcome back because that's your best way it's your best way to show that you have a good creativity and then you have a good taste in choosing the right idea for the right project and therefore answer to the brief the project brief in the best way you can you see so this is something i wanted to talk today uh, about because a lot of people believe me a lot of people just are too light on this uh, on this sketching uh, stage okay step so every time i i used to uh, when i used to teach in school every time we start a new project we always went through the design process it was of course it was a math because everybody had to learn really design process but design process it's it's very important because it really gives you the opportunity to explore correctly and develop correctly an idea and in the exploration phase the, the really the beginning the very beginning that's the time where everybody can sketch whatever they want i mean you don't have to be 100 percent correct uh, for the project brief i mean if you want to sketch flowers sketch flowers but i am sure that even the sketch of flowers will influence somehow what you will sketch later on and then that gives you another thing very with it is very really, really important it measures your level of creativity because when you are challenging yourself on one idea to, from that idea, that concept, to get several ideas, then you really have to push your brain, you know, you have, I mean, you are forced to push your brain to find alternatives. And here, th this is a, a good example. This is the original sketch, more or less, the wave. And here there is another interpretation of the wave. So why not? You know, very simple. Or like this one at the beginning, you know, at the beginning it was this idea, which is uh, very nice, not bad. And then the same one I traced, and they said, no, I got to do something completely different. Then I get this one. Same proportion, same car, different design. So, both of them, of course, EVs, with the same uh, design, electric design code. And that something that you have to learn how to do and that you must do. Tibetisha, sir, what do you think about the new Nissan GTR electric concept? Yeah, not bad, not bad. All those concepts are very nice, very interesting. And some of them have really great details, great design. Some, some of them now, they are really showing a good explo new exploration of volumes, form, proportions. So yes, why not? I, I think that it's, it's good it's good anybody has any question you know today i will be finishing a little bit earlier sooner because as you know in less than an hour there will be a lots of uh, motorsports on tv i also have something to do so i told myself that i would start a little bit earlier not to miss my point my friday point with you and still talk to you about the design ideation because I had this in my in my head during the whole week. I said there are too many coincidences, there are too many people that uh, you know that are doing the same uh, action without really thinking, and they are missing this uh, ideation step. And so I told myself, Friday, I will talk about that because it's uh, it's very important, and that's why I wrote in my title, "You better start doing it." So I really hope, I really wish that each one of you 
watching this video, when you start your, your project in school or for yourself, for your portfolio or even at work, please go through ideation sketching, go through a brainstorming step, stage. Because that will help you a lot. You know, at least to put aside, to put on the side all the good ideas that you will give, that you will have, but that are not that are judged not really good ones or great ones for that particular type of project. Or project. And you will know because you went through it. So that's what uh, what I really hope you should do. Any, any questions? Please, any questions of any type? If you have any questions, I'm here. Today we are not too many. Now we are seven people. In total, 17, but people come in and out. Last week we were 45. Not bad at all. Ah, I wanted to tell you also another thing. Uh, next Tuesday, a new video will be out, okay? Around uh, 6 p.m. French time on my channel, okay? There will be a new new video. All right, for you, drawing video. Raja, sir, I love all the cons that uh, were showcased in Tokyo recently. Yeah, they were very, very interesting. Uh, some of them really, really exceptional. And I believe all car design gangers do, but I see most of the people, not car design, are hating it. Uh, are car designers being artistic? Uh, or, uh, there, are two, there are two questions in your question. The first one about the concept cars. Now, the thing that uh, the, the, the people on social networks will write uh, comments like, oh, I hate this, this is stupid, this is ugly, what they were drinking, what they did this catch. Those things, believe me, don't count anything. They do not have any, any importance, zero. Because when professionals, go into a certain type of direction and give you a new design expression and they do it really really well even if the the, the people today look like that they, uh, they don't uh, excuse me my nose uh, i have a little bit uh, <laughs> even if they even if they write comments that are not very positive in reality when those cars will come out in three four years from today or five years from today they're gonna love it and they're gonna buy it because that's how we push forward the design taste the trend in car design and it's not the other way around it's not that we are waiting for people to tell us what to do we have a certain type of uh, Thoughts about trends, development, society, where society will go or should go, and we exercise our artistic and professional uh, experience uh, put together to create the basis, you know, to create the basis of those type of designs or project executions. Naturally, with the engineers, the marketing, product planning, and everybody else. So when you, Rajat, when you write, are car designers being artistic? I would say that car designers are being always artistic. We have a big artistic part in, in us, in each one of us. Every car designer, every car design student should have more than 50% of artistic value in his, her talent. And then you have to put the rest of the percentages, the technical part. Now, in my case, the technical part I learned on the, on the work, on the job. Okay, some other people come already with a technical background. That's fine too. But remember, if you want to be a, a successful car designer, you must have this artistic value very, very much developed. Your talent, your talent should be more than 50 percent i would say 70 80 percent very artistic jacob hello Luciano. what 3d digital model will have to make a good model 
for major project alias the Photor Class A alias Jacob uh, um, Class A is the type of a digital model engineers do not designers engineers do to speak with suppliers to make tooling that type of uh, digital model is not our interest at all first of all it takes a long time to do second it's so precise you could use it to make tooling to make real parts and that's not our objective what we do we make digital models with alias which are very accurate in the millimeter or in the decimals of millimeter and that's enough the type of precision to use that support and make all the renderings all the beautiful ai images very beautiful animated videos all that stuff with the a class digital model it would be too heavy you cannot do anything the only thing you can do you can separate in parts and and send all the parts to each supplier to make uh, the real production car so jacob my answer is alias which software should i use to make my final year model alias jacob alias alias because it's faster alias because it's very flexible alias because uh, you can go even freestyle on alias just by pulling cvs you know and changing surfaces or you can use a blender if you want you know okay great thank you jacob Sir, what is the difference between art and design art it's uh finalized to an emotion uh, its function is uh, to in my opinion eh, to create a strong emotion or to push the emotional part of the viewer with beauty of course and that's it but if you if you make a a, a beautiful how can i say a beautiful uh, uh, a beautiful artistic uh, painting for example or sculpture it's something that personally i would buy have it as a big piece of, important piece of art in my house as a collector uh, ciao martin uh, benvenuto hola come stas but at the same time it, it's a piece of collection when we talk about design we have first of all to analyze the word design design comes from designare this is the etymology that meant back in the old times meant to make a project and it meant to make a project a full project which means from the artistic composition to the engineering to the cost to the timing and all all those things okay ciao fantasy garage uh e-fuel synthetic fuels uh jacob e-fuel synthetic fuels is something that it's not bad at all in my opinion until we can use them why not they're kind of clean much cleaner than diesel and uh, today's uh, uh fuel so the difference between art and design that when you do design you have a strong artistic part which is the emotional part of the object or the car or whatever we, we design uh, also machine you know can be designed in an emotional way but then it's completed with a function and that function is given by technology hey ciao solaria geek uh, one of my members thank you for being here Ciao, grazie. 
So design is something that is complete. I have an idea, you know, I have an idea. And then behind this idea, I study all the technicality, the cost, the technology, the timing, the market, the function, and put all those things together with my design. And we work all together to create this product that when we be made and sold, it will create a business, but will be something very useful to people, so to society. Now, when we talk only about art, for some people it's very useful. For some others, it's like water because they are not interested. Uh, when we talk about design, we talk about anything you can see, you can touch, you can use, because every single thing has the design. Now, I show you something that is very stupid. Huh? This is a magnet, okay? From Tenerife, okay? With a magnet that got broken, I have to buy a new one. Okay, the function, this one, this little thing that is done for tourists, you know, I, I like to buy those magnets when I go in the town. And also function. I put the photos of my fridge, of my kids, my ex-kids. Ciao Eduardo, buonasera, grazie per essere venuto. And when I look at this little thing, I say, oh, it's so cool, it's so well done, it's nice, it's really cool. And, and I, I, so I like it. So this is the artistic part, you know, I like it. It's like a, there was a sculpture behind this, okay? So there was an artist behind this. And that is also function with a magnet. And that's somebody that was thinking more technically, you know, to make sure that the thing is not just a, a beautiful object with no function. So this is just a little example. I can take this one. You see? This one has the function to give you the humidity, the temperature, the timing. It's semi-transparent, so that's very nice. LCD with the battery that is there. Very thin, look. So when I saw this thing, I said, wow, the design of this thing is really nice. I was looking for this for my bedroom, okay, to, to go during the winter, what type of temperature I have in my bedroom. And I told myself, I buy this one because the design is so beautiful. So that's the emotional part. But then there's also the function. The design has been done according to the technology that allows you to have something very slim. There are two batteries here. And all the information is in a very thin film of glass, or I don't know what it is, I think it's a glass. And it is transparent. You know, look, you see, it's transparent. So, this is design. I don't know if I explain well, that's design. It's complete. It's not just a, a painting. And then it stays there. And who cares if it's going to work or not? And it's not the objective. A painting is just the emotional thing of uh, creating a, a fantastic work thanks to the talent of somebody. But here, you have lots of talents. The designer talent, which is the artistic and emotional part. The, the talent of the engineers that were able to put everything in such a small, thin space. You know, the company that was able to make this not too expensive. So all that thing, you know, all those things together. That's design. All right. Thank you, Raja. Okay, so now it's a six almost 6 20 p.m don't forget that we have the in less than an hour we have a qualification formula one in brazil all right we see if max is gonna win again i think yes but we'll see okay because brazil is always a uh, very strange it's always a very 
I would say not strange, competitive, okay, very competitive because it's a beautiful, really beautiful track. And then we have the, the spread out tomorrow plus the street race and the real race Sunday. And then uh, there will be also Las Vegas coming at 7 o'clock in the morning here in I think in two weeks. So there's a lot of still exciting moments to live at the end of this uh, season, F1 season 2023. All right, so I hope that you had a, a good time. All right, I now I will go and be ready to say thank you very much for being with me for about uh, I don't know how long we were together. Uh, I would say uh, what is written? There is a there is a thing. Yeah, we were together thirty five minutes so far, which is not bad. I don't want to keep those slides too long because then people, when they go back and, and watch it, they get annoyed and I understand. So tomorrow we cut some parts before uh, it will be really again uh, available to everybody. Okay. Thank you, Raja. Thank you very much for everybody. Okay. Grazie Solari and Nick for being with us, one of my members. If you want to become a member, just hit the button. If you want to offer me a coffee now, you have the super sticker, super chat. You can do it, you know. Uh, and uh, I would be very, very happy to drink uh, a beer or a coffee. Thanks to you. Offered by you. And if not, uh, you are new and you want to subscribe, then subscribe. Put the like on this video to push the video, like uh, as usual. And thank you very much. And see you next Friday for a new design talk. Don't forget, Tuesday there will be a new video coming out. Okay. All right. Ciao. So, my player, looking forward for more uh, drawing videos. You should try designing aircraft. I will try. So, but check. I don't know if you, if you saw it already, but there was a video published just for members this week. So, you should probably, you already saw it. Okay. So that one next week will be open to everybody, but I will prepare another one for you guys. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ciao. Grazie.